me again. So I've got the red chocolate board out, that means we're doing meat. Today, I was going around Tesco, had a quick look at the reduced section, and I came across this. These are reduced finest beef fillet steaks, and since I recently got hold of a dehumidifier, I decided I'm going to give jerky a go. So jerky, if you don't know, is similar to biltong. It is a dried meat product, flavoured usually with some sort of marinade, which is what I'm going to try here. So to start off with, these beef fillet steaks have been in the freezer for about an hour, hour and a half, to make them firmer so you can slice them up thin, which is what I'm about to do now. So, looking at the beef that I have got, it appears to be offcuts of other bits. This one was the tiny one that was uh, 81 pence, and these three were in the large pack. So, for jerky, what you really want to do is have low, fairly low fat meat, so I'm going to trim off the bits of fat that you can see, and then slice into even quite thin strips in order to air dry them. I'll get back to you. Right, so we've got everything all sliced up now, nice and thin. You want it thin to make sure that your marinade will get right into that meat. And when it's in the dehydrator, or if you're doing it in the oven, the oven, when it's in the oven, it will dry all the way through, not leaving you with any excess moisture, which can cause it to go off or be wrongly chewy. And if you've eaten jerky before, you'll understand what I mean when there is a right chew to this meat. So what we're going to do now is actually start making the marinade. When it comes to marinades, there's pretty much no rules. You can put in whatever you think you'll like the flavour of. And as long as it will absorb into the meat and give it a flavour, go for it. So what I'm doing for mine is soy sauce as the main base. So quite like things that are salty. Mirin, which is a Japanese rice wine vinegar. That helps tenderise the meat so you don't get tough parts. So just a bit of that. Mushroom ketchup. A lot of recipes I say see you suggest using Worcestershire sauce like Liam Perrins. Don't have any of that. However, I've found that, mush that mushroom ketchup is a fantastic alternative, especially if you're vegetarian. Not that that's important really for this recipe since the main ingredient is meat. So a splash of that. A little bit of light brown sugar just to impart a little bit of sweetness. So I'm using, what's this one? dessert spoon, light brown sugar, and finally just a little sprinkle of chilli flakes because I enjoy that little kick. Whilst these won't go into the meat itself, the chilli will infuse into that marinade and also the flakes will stick to the outside of the meat. Right, now time to start to marinate him. So, you probably really know what this is. Just basically drop your meat in there. Make sure everything is good and covered. If you need to add more ingredients, add more ingredients. Once that's done, going in the fridge overnight. And I will return to you in the morning or early afternoon when it's time to start dehydrating. See you then. Right, well, it's the next morning, and as you can see, my beef has been marinating overnight. It's gotten a much darker colour, which is good. It means it's drawn in the soy sauce and other bits. Now, all we need to do, whack it on the dehydrator. I call it a dehumidifier before that's wrong. It's a dehydrator. I'm going to keep tripping up over that anyway. And whack it on for six to eight hours at 70 degrees. And we'll check on it when that's done. So here we are, six hours later. Look at the colour on that. Just 
pulls apart. Still warm, so it might be cheating eating this now, but I'm going to give it a go. Well, I'm definitely doing that again. That was, since it was just something thrown together, that is delicious. So yeah, if you have the chance, with a dehumidifier, an oven, not a dehumidifier, a dehydrator, an oven, or apparently, according to some people, according to one of my friends, you can do this in an air fryer with a, with a specific uh, program on it. This is well worth doing. Do it. That's all I can say. So there we have it. Homemade jerky. Absolutely delicious. So flavorful. So tender. If you have a chance to do this, do it as I just said to you. And thanks for watching. If you do give this a go, comment what your marinade was, because I might give some of those a go. Tell me what you thought, whether you've got any suggestions for maybe change the type of beef that I used, whether that will make it even better. But yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.